And uh, Chief, the hat, it's a little pimped out. Welcome back, Chief. Oh, it's good to be back, Dr. Gray. Uh, what can I do for you? It's my mother, sir. Sorry, I didn't tell you sooner. I know you two are close, but she made me promise. She seems to be reliving the heyday of her residency a lot these days. And I just thought maybe if you could stop by and say hello, it would mean a lot to her. Oh, of, of course. Do you need a day off or? Oh, no, I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. I understand that you're working on Alice Gray. Yes, sir. I'm trying my best. All right. Keep me informed of her progress and take good care of her. She's an old friend of mine. R really? Because actually, I could use some help. Could, could you help me examine her? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm just a little busy just now. You know, I've got to run. Right. Okay. It's just that she seems to think I'm her ex-husband and she won't let me touch her. Funny, you, you do look a bit like that. I look like Meredith's dad. Um, just take good care of her, George. But, like her dad? I need help. What is it, O'Malley? It's Dr. Gray, sir. Ellis. But a uh, liver mass was also I fun. need you to do a needle biopsy. It's Ellis Gray. Dr. Gray, we're going to put you to sleep for a little while, but I promise we'll have you back into surgery in no time. Richard, thank God you're here. You beautiful man. That husband of mine has been making me crazy. Chief said to put a rush on this biopsy. Tell them it's Alice Gray. Okay. It's hard. I know it's hard being the one who's gone. That man. It isn't easy being the one who's still around. 